Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be sharing the best settings for streaming and recording in XSplit in 2018. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to stream gameplay quickly and easily, I highly suggest getting XSplit. Now, I used to use OBS and OBS, to be honest, it's a little bit of a pain to deal with, to set up, to get the settings that you want. But XSplit is incredibly easy to resize images, to change settings, to basically get things how you want them to be. So go to growonyoutube.com forward slash xsplit asap to go and download xsplit you can also use my discount code jcarteray to get 10 percent off so do yourself a favor go get xsplit today jump start your streaming career go to grow on youtube.com forward slash xsplit use code jcarteray for 10 percent off Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from growonyoutube.com teaching you how to be better. And I started using XSplit recently and honestly had no clue how to make things work properly. I tried streaming and the best I could get to was 720p. And I knew, I knew that my computer could handle more and I found how to do it. So I wanna share this with you to help you guys stream in 10 AEP and have your streams looking beautiful beautiful also if you want to check out an example of my streams then there'll be a link down below where i'll just put one of my latest streams although when you're watching this in the future it may not be one of my latest streams so turn on notifications if you want to catch me live streaming but yeah let's show you how to do this obviously i'm currently connecting nothing over here my ava media is connecting that is what i used to stream but it's not actually uh, connected to my ps4 right about now so you're just gonna have to trust me basically so to get to our settings for our specific output we go to outputs then we go to this little cog now for this video we're going to be focusing on the youtube outputs but i believe this will be the same for twitch like just follow the same thing so we'll come over here and we basically first the thing the first thing that you want to change is your codec now by default this will be on x264 you want to change that and put it to n v e n c h264 if you've got an nvidia nvidia card and this will basically use your gpu to stream instead of using your cpu which i was using before and it just didn't work out for me using my gpu made things much much better and made it much much more manageable so if you've got the option definitely change it to that bit rate depends on your internet my internet's pretty good because i pay a premium price for it in order to make sure i can stream so i've got my bit rate at like ten thousand. but if you're streaming at 1080p and above i believe your bit rate needs to be around 5000 and above i try to shoot for at least 8000 but you don't want to if your bit rate's 8000 and the limit to stream at 1080p is 8000 you don't want your bit rate to be at 8000 you want to kind of be you know a little bit lower than there at least a thousand lower i'd suggest 2000 lower and be around there so if your bit rates like just enough to stream 1080 stream in 720 because it's much safer so that's what i'd suggest over there i've got my mode set to cbr and then over here we've got our keyframe set to 2 vbv buffer set to 10,000. uh video fps is the default stage our video size is 920 by 1080 and then we didn't actually touch these extra encoder parameters. Really, I didn't didn't really touch much, much of this. I think this is pretty much default. And then our code audio codec is just the normal stuff, AAC. Bit rate is 192. I believe that's the highest one you can get. I don't know why I can't get 264. Or th I think it's like 320. I think that's the KPB that I usually, that is that MP3s go at. So that's a little disappointing. But 192 is the, the top thing there. and have it in stereo why not and then basically you're done you can automatically save to save your recording on your hard drive if you want to use the footage later for maybe highlights and that sort of stuff and i will probably do a video on how to uh, do highlights because i swear there's an option in xsplit 
where you can pick a certain piece of footage and, and have that as a highlight so that you know where to go back to edit it although i haven't really looked into it yet so if that's something you guys would want let me know in the comment section down below but that's basically set up for streaming for local recordings you basically want to do the same thing you want to change your codec to the nvidia coder if you've got an N nvidia graphics card or basically anything that you can get to use your gpu instead of the cpu because x x264 uses your cpu and that's just not good you want to use your gpu as it says for virtually no performance hit that is really really what you want to get to my quality i've set that on very high may go to ultra high in the future i don't know we're, we're just doing very high for now because basically when i'm doing recordings usually just doing vlogs so it doesn't really matter and i'm using the webcam anyway so it's not going to be super great uh codec exactly the same bitrate the same format the same file type i choose mp4 you could choose flv although i highly suggest you use mp4 because most editing softwares will allow you to use mp4 some editing softwares won't allow you to use uh, uh, flv but if you accidentally find yourself using flv or you've accidentally exported an flv then there's an app that you can download called handbrake and that will allow you to convert your files i'm actually using it today because i accidentally made a bunch of videos on my ava media in the ts format and i've got to convert that into mp4 so that i can actually edit those files so i'll include a link to that down below as well and i'll probably do a full video on that and i do not suggest splitting files although if that's something that you're into you could do that but why why would you do this why i don't know you can split it at a certain amount of minutes you can split it at a certain amount of mb but honestly i wouldn't use xsplit for recording your gameplay footage i'd use whatever capture card you got and use the the, the what is it called the program that came with that capture card because i just think you're probably going to get the best quality that you can out of that capture card using the program that came with it and then if you want to use xsplit to edit because i believe it has an editing software i haven't used it myself then you can go and do that so yeah i, ba I think we've got that done i i choose optimize for youtube although it's probably not 100 percent necessary but i'm just like why not might as well do it you can create a multi-track recording of microphone and system audio what this does is it will give you an audio file for your microphone and i believe the system audio is just on the 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 footage i'm not 100 percent sure because i haven't actually used it but you can do that if you want to and you can have this highlight moments with cue points in here this is what i was talking about you can insert cue points while recording these are used to help you identify key moments in the um the express video editor which i've never used so if you want to use that then this will be very very interesting for you it will help you out even if you don't want to use that you could enter those cue points and then just look at the express editor and see where those cue points are write those down and then import it in to the video editor that you're actually using so yeah that's that that's how you set up that those are the best streaming settings for xsplit in 2018 this will get you crisp clear 1080p footage i'm loving it right about now as i said a link to an example from one of my streams is in the description down below if you want to catch me live subscribe and turn on notifications and yeah i hope this video helped you guys out if you've got any questions or any other tutorials that you'd like me to make please leave those in the comment section down below thanks for watching and liking and subscribing i'll see you guys in the next xsplit tutorial peace out if you want to learn how i got over 23,000 subscribers and millions of views on my youtube gaming channel then you are in luck sign up to this free course right now link will be in the card in the description and in the pinned comment or go to grownyoutube.com forward slash 20k seo course in this course you will learn the best way to write your video titles tags and descriptions to help you rank on the first page of youtube it's simple when you know what to do i'll also show you a hack that will help you choose the right key phrases and help you create videos that can rank and get views no matter what game you play stop struggling to grow your youtube gaming channel and start doing what works
click on the link in the description or go to growonyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. This course will not be up forever, so get in there as soon as possible. I hope to see you here soon and I wish you the best of luck on your journey of turning your passion into your career. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you.